Welcome to Virtualize Everything, where we strive to educate and inform about virtualization and virtualization technology. Today's video presentation is going to be about adding USB storage to your Proxmox 8 server using the web interface 2025 edition. With that, let's get to our video presentation. So let's look at the first way of doing this and the way that will be most beneficial to you guys. If we head up here to PVE and we take a look at disk, we can see that my USB drive has already come through and it's petitioned at two terabyte right here. But as I select LVM, LVM thin directory, and even ZFS, you can't see any of the disk information here. Selecting the disk, we can go ahead and wipe the disk. Now the disk appears with no partitions attached to it. Now we can click initialize disk with GPT and the disk is now got a file system assigned to it. We can go ahead and go down to the one that we want to use, whether it's LVM, LVM thin, ZFS or directory. Today we're going to be choosing directory because it's the easiest for us to work with. Later you'll see that unlike our LVM drive here which doesn't have anything assigned to it and can't have anything assigned to it by default, we can assign LVMs to store backups and ISO images if we're adding an external drive. As I said, because of my future goals, I'm going to choose directory. So I'm going to hit create directory. I'm going to select SDV. I'm going to select the file system, which I'm going to use ext4. I'm going to give it a name. I'll call mine storage. And we're going to select add drive and hit create. So now that the storage creation window has gone away, our task should have created successfully. I am noticing that our drive didn't show up here. So let's go ahead, go up to LVM thin and come back. And yes, we indeed see our drive has been created and we see that it shows up here on the sidebar, the data center sidebar, and it's ready to be used for any of the above items. If we wanted to fine tune our items, we should be able to come up here to data center, go to storage, select storage and hit edit. And here at this window, we should be able to select or remove whichever things we don't want it to be used. So if I didn't want to use it for snippets or use it for disk images or containers, I can go ahead, uncheck all of them, press OK. And now when we select the drive, it's going to look a lot more like the local drive where I can't use it for any of those items. 